When you open up the Excel file for the first time, you need to click this button that says Enable Content. A macro is a small program that runs uh, when you click this button, and you need to make sure that you only enable content for files that you've taken from a source that you trust, and hopefully you can trust me. So uh, just enable that content and say yes that you wouldn't want to make it a trusted document, otherwise it'll ask you every time. Okay, so you now need to enter your timetable, uh, your classes and your rooms. You can enter your non-contacts if you want, but if you don't want them to appear on your timetable explicitly, just leave it blank. Uh, and you can enter rooms if you want. You don't have to do that either. You can leave those blank if you want. So I've already filled my timetable in and it looks like that. Uh, what you might also want to do is tweak the times uh, if you want to to um, take into account the slightly different timings that we're going to be using for different year groups during the zoned period of our timetable. Once you have got your timetable the way you want it, all you do is click this button and it will create all of the calendar events that are going to be entered into the uh, calendar of your choice. And when it's done that, it will offer to save it for you. So just pick somewhere to save your file uh, make sure you know where it is, ready for you to import into your calendar.